Did you know that it's actually not good and healthy to be posting pastors? In fact, I don't understand the concept of posting pastors, except for the fact that it simply reveals that people are doing business. They are not doing ministry. A young man joins a ministry and then gets married. That man, you put him in a state or in a place. In two years' time, you post him out of that place. Now, don't forget, they now have a child. That man's wife cannot work. His child has to change school. Let's say the child has started schooling. So you move them again. They put the child in a school. The wife can't work. In two years' time, you move them again. Now, as you keep posting them like that, many times people don't realize the, the damage they are doing to pastors. Their kids does not have a stable place to school. Their wife cannot work. And then, at the end of the day, that man also cannot do any cumulative work. How will he do a cumulative work? Except this ministry, this thing you are calling ministry is business. Because to build people takes time. To, to disciple men for Jesus, it takes time. It's not, it's not like fast food that anybody can come and just do. There are people that are ministering to by the grace of God. There is a place we have reached. I know what I've built into them. And I know the next thing that we are to look at. Right now, let's assume that you just take me out of the scene and you bring somebody else. The person is starting all over again. How will the person know what we have done? It's actually better and proper that you allow a pastor to pastor a place, if possible, for the rest of his life so that he can raise a people for God. This thing is not business, it's not about remitting money to the headquarters. Why are you afraid that, oh, if he stays there for, for so long, they will get to know him and love him? That is part of the work. He must have relationship with the people he's preaching to. The, the script Paul said, he said, we have not only given you the gospel, but ourselves also. So it is a proper thing that a pastor develops relationship with the people that he's pastoring, that he knows how they are doing. He is a shepherd. He must know the flock. Can you imagine you are changing shepherd? Even the sheep will not respond after a while. It's not a proper thing. It, it does not favor the gospel. It, it doesn't show that you have the mind of Christ at heart. You're just destroying many of these young men. Many of them, maybe they also didn't pray because they took up some of these pastoral positions or they just saw it as employment. Now they are now seeing the consequence. They can't resign because the family has nothing to feed on. Some of them have three kids already. Those three kids have been changing school in the last 15 years. The wife cannot work because she's not stable in a particular place. And if she's, she can't live outside of where her husband is. So you've complicated their life. you violated several scriptural principles. Why are you doing it? Why? What is the whole purpose? What is the whole essence? If this thing is about raising people for Jesus, I tell you the truth. What you are doing is satanic. It is not correct. It is not ministry. It is business. I pray that you will repent. And if a young person, God is calling you to ministry, you better pray carefully to know exactly how God wants you to go about that ministry before you go and accept employment and think you have accepted ministry. May the Lord give you understanding. I am Olusha Gumokuolu. God bless you.